Pastor Mike Park, you have uh, you've shared with us the importance of nurturing into existence a particular kind of community, a mm -hmm. community of unconditional welcome and acceptance, and you've noted how much of a contribution to that the right kind of student leadership can make. But not student leadership that is itself a status or an achievement, right. but student leadership that, that c contributes to this notion of unconditional acceptance for who they are. Yeah. Well, how do you get the kind of student leadership you want and not the kind of student leadership you don't want? I think first, for students, but I think for anybody, I think we have to see leadership as um, a part, a component of our discipleship. And really, so much of our discipleship in following Christ is how to think outside of ourselves, how to care for the other. So if we're helping student leaders to say, okay, you're in this position of leadership really to, to learn how to care for the other, care for other students, students who are not like you. And that's really what we're gonna go after together, and, and that's, what, that's what we're learning in our discipleship process. Then you start to get away from the, I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for my, um, sense of accomplishment or status or, or merit, right? I think that's one way. Uh, I think another way is, you know, and I think this is true again for, for any sort of youth ministry or church or culture, is that we imitate what we celebrate. So what are the things that we're celebrating from up front? Uh, do we celebrate when someone is a worship leader and is, or, or maybe can speak for Youth Sunday or, or um, leads an event? Are those things that we celebrate? Or do we celebrate moments where, um, a young person thinks outside of themselves and serves. And we, when we say that's leadership. Um, I think about a story about there was um, a, a young man, he was in high school in our youth group, very, very popular in his high school. And what he did is once a week, he would um, take some time at lunch to sit with students he knew who um, really didn't have anyone to, to sit with, that were a little bit on the outside. And since he was such a popular kid, that other people started to follow suit. Now, he didn't advertise it. It wasn't a big ministry. It wasn't an initiative. He just chose to do that every Tuesday. I heard about it, and we celebrated it. And I said, that's what leadership looks like. So I think that's one of the ways we do it, is that we celebrate moments where we see this is what true Christian leadership is.